Hello everyone, happy Friday. I hope you're all well. As promised, I have my cash stuffing video today, like I do most Fridays now. Um, it's a very little cash stuffing video today, very little. Um, most of my cash stuffing videos are quite little because I'm on a low income, I'm a single mum and um, yeah, you know, <laughs> so it is little today and I um, did a video yesterday breaking down what I had planned for the money that I was getting today. I actually ended up getting £130 rather than £125, so that was a bonus. Um, I already filled my cash envelopes up today, so I put £20 in groceries and £10 in my petrol. I actually managed to get petrol today. The first time I drove past my garage, it was shut, but the petrol lorry was there filling it up so after I picked my son up from school I went back round and luckily it was open again so thank god for that so I've got petrol um so I also explained that I would need to spend 40 pound of my money before I could do this video because I had to get one more gift for my son's birthday um and I needed to do that this morning I, I wouldn't have had time to do a video this morning and do that so that is what I've done there. So I've already taken that 40. So that leaves me with 60 pound that I'm going to stuff. Yes, 60 pound, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. And I have some coins here because I did have to spend some of my grocery. Um, money so i'm just gonna i've just taken the five peas out and i've put them in my pot and the 50s and 20s i'm gonna keep in my cash envelope until um i restuff them which might be monday i'm not sure yet um so the, i went to the cash point today and it just gave me all tens so usually it's either all 20s or 10s and 20s, but um, does Hi. anyone remember in the UK? I don't know if you still can, but I'm sure there was a time when you could withdraw £5 notes from a cash machine. I, I vaguely remember it, but I seem to, I can't find any cash machine that now lets you withdraw £5 notes. Like, is it still possible? Like, do they still do it or is it just back to 10s, 20s and 50s? Are 50s even still in the machines? I don't know. Um, right, so they, they gave me all 10s, so I need some 5s, I need £20 worth of 5s, so what I'm going to do is, let's pop that there, get my binder, I've got, the kids have got £5 in their, they've both got 5s in their wallets, so I believe they've both got 10 so I'm going to switch them out. So two tens, two fives for a ten. And the same for my son. He's got ten as well. Yes. Two fives and a ten. That's it. I think I'm even going to be putting some of them back in there. <laughs> Yeah, I will. Um, so that's 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60 pounds. That's much better. Okay, so let's move this out of the way a little bit. We already went through that yesterday, so you don't necessarily need to see that again. Get some more space. Okay. So let's put tens and fives there. Yes, kissy. Okay, so my emergency fund, if you watched yesterday's video, you will know about my emergency fund. Let's just not talk about that. <laughs> but thank you to everyone who commented on that video yesterday and even on Instagram, some people reached out. Thank you so much for your kind words, your support. Like, you really made me realise that it's really nothing to be upset about like but in fact be thankful that i had it there um so i really really appreciate all of your lovely lovely comments so today i'm going to be putting 
10 pound in my emergency fund which will then bring that up to 20 what's the date today Sorry, that took me a while. Um, Ten pound. So that gives me a balance of twenty in there now. Yay! <laughs> We're getting there. Uh, gifting is not getting anything this week. Christmas is getting £10. So that should now be £60 in the Christmas fund. 20, 40, 50, 60. Childcare is not getting anything because um, I need to pay for the rest of October, but they've not yet given me my bill, so I think there's enough in there to cover it. Um, holiday is not getting anything this week. Savings is going to get £5. So that should make, it's already 30, 20, 35. I'm really proud of that, 20, um, 35 pound in my savings. <laughs> for someone that's never been able to have any savings, that's, that's an achievement for me. Um, debt. Is also going to get five pound, so that is now ten pound. So we're ten pound closer to a debt. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. You know what I mean? Like I'm ten pound up to pay off a debt. <laughs> More. Um, I did explain in one of my previous videos um, that I want to build this up to about fifty or a hundred pound before I ring up one of my debt companies and pay off. A little chunk i am paying all my debts off a small amount on direct debit each month there is no debt that i have that is just left not being sorted out but this is just a little wallet to build up extra so that i can kind of speed up my payment paying off process um so my son dante is getting five i said kids are gonna get five back <laughs> um so that's 15. Kids are still up actually, if you can hear them. So that's 15 on Dante. He's turning the big 10 on Monday. You must be fed up with me going on about his birthday. Um, my daughter Aaliyah is getting £5 as well. So that will be 15 for her as well. Georgia yeah so me that's me sorry I'm reading from my list because I had to adapt it a little bit because I had an extra f um, five pound um, so I am going to put another ten in mine purely because I've explained I want to go on my little shopping trip um, it's really needed I think I've not actually gone on a proper shopping trip to like really kind of relax and spoil myself since 
sorry, kids came bursting in. Um, yes, so I've not been like shopping, like guilt free shopping, let's say, um, since before he was born. And I'm not doing a massive big spend, I just want to go out and have a little bit of retail therapy. <laughs> So that's £20 in there now. I also need to buy some more makeup. I've been walking around with no makeup on for like two weeks now. I mean, I don't mind. I like, you know, giving my face a break. But <laughs> hope I'm not scaring too many people. <laughs> so that's £20 in there. And then spending. I needed £10 to reach my goal for this week. Because, you know going out tomorrow for my son's birthday meal that he doesn't know about um i even had a little um <laughs> i wrote down on a little bit of paper um how much i think i'm gonna need for the restaurant um so that's roughly how much i don't think it's gonna come to that much for us actually um but i just allowed a bit more so I wanted £60 for tomorrow and I did it, I did it, <laughs> yes, my first little goal hit, <laughs> so 20, 40, 50, £60 in there for tomorrow night, yay, and then after that, I don't really think, um, because I have a spending um, envelope, on as the cash envelope as well and I have one in my sinking funds my, my one in my sinking funds is for like long-term savings so like if I have something coming up like a meal or we want a day out we want to go to a theme park or something that's what that's for and my spending in my cash envelopes is for like things that are not classed as groceries so like maybe if I take them to a sweet shop after school I want to get them an ice cream or um I just want to treat them that's what that one's for so I added an F10 to that, so that makes £60. Yes, I did it. £60. I actually did it. So that is that today, um, a very, very small cash stuffing, but um, nonetheless, it's still a cash stuffing. I think I'm going to do an add up again soon of how much I have in my sinking funds, but I'm just going to wait and maybe do that next week. Um, Hopefully next week I should have a slightly bigger cash stuffing video once my son's birthday is out of the way. <laughs> I think I've spent a fortune on his birthday, but um, you're only 10 once. So yeah, once his birthday is out of the way, there's not going to be all this. I need to get this. I need to get that. Like children's birthdays are so expensive, especially as they get older. Like with my son, he's going to be 10. So he's like not really into like toys anymore. So he's into all technology and um, I don't know, games and gaming and clothes. But it's got to be either this brand or this brand. <laughs> so um, yeah, but at least like as they get older, the things they want is more like they're going to last longer. Um I'm also doing like a little tea party on Monday with my family so I had to get a few bits for that like nibbles and some chocolates and things like that so children's birthdays are super expensive and the only reason like I wouldn't say it's been tight this year it's really not been tight compared to some years yeah before I started my cash stuffing but it has been a little bit tight because I decided to start my cash stuffing journey so close to like having such expensive months so I really kind of threw myself in at the deep end I didn't really wait until things had eased I just went for it which I think 
in the long run, run I'm gonna be like happy that I did that because otherwise I would have just been forever making excuses oh I can't start it yet because I've got this coming up and this no so I feel like I've really like managed well um in regards to his birthday um so yeah hopefully things will start being a bit calmer I'll be able to start stuffing more into my sinking funds and yeah just you know start saving for christmas and everything um another thing you know yesterday in my video i said that my landlords are coming over well they told me they are selling the property um so i need to find somewhere else to live but they've been very 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 kind and given me six months so um i have like till march to sort that out so i guess there's going to be some expenses that i need to adjust for that um but yeah i'm not going to panic myself yet um i'm just going to i'm really just going to try and get christmas out of the way and then really really focus on having to move and everything obviously i need to start looking and start preparing but I'm really not going to get into a panic mode <laughs> um, until like I've got Christmas out of the way because I really really want to make Christmas special this year especially if it's our last Christmas in this home because this home is so like cozy and so homely like we absolutely love it here so I really want to make it like extra extra this year like big tree you know speaking of Christmas trees I actually need to buy a new one um, so my christmas tree broke last year like within a couple of days i took it back they gave me another one that one broke oh that was stressful 